vehicle, built for Mars, robust yet lightweight. It produces its own energy and recognizes obstacles automatically. And everything has to work, whether at temperatures of plus 40 or minus 130 degrees centigrade. It's the kind of challenge that Hanna von Hörner thrives on. I never played with dolls. I preferred the vacuum cleaner with its cables and wires. And then I started building radios and I took it from there. I even built an oscillograph when I was 14. That was always my greatest love, to build equipment and appliances, even as a child. Today, her instruments and devices fly into space. They analyze comet dust and radio the results back to Earth. She developed this rover on behalf of the ESA, the European Space Agency. The measuring instruments on the small box can determine the composition of planetary rocks. For now, it's still just a model. Years will pass before it becomes a vehicle fit for space travel. Space research is a fascinating area in and of itself. For me, it's one of the last remaining frontiers. And normally a frontier populated by huge industrial corporations. In comparison, Hanna von Hörner's company is small fry with just 24 employees. Yet she's been competing in this market for 40 years. She's also one of the very few women in the profession. I've never met any other woman in a comparable position here in Europe, even among all the clients we've dealt with, meaning space travel companies and research institutes. You never meet women in the business. And that's a pity, but it's not because a bunch of nasty men want to shut women out. It's simply because so few women learn a technical profession. Her employee, Sabina Klinkner, is one of the handful of women to have studied aerospace technology. And she agrees with her boss. Men are not to blame for the shortage of women. The problem is that there are so few female role models. I think a lot of women simply don't dare to try. It was only after I gave it a try that I found out that it can be done and that it's also a lot of fun. Of course, you have to want to study engineering in the first place, and it's sometimes easier to follow a more conventional path. And Sabina Klinkner thinks that's unfortunate because the job is enjoyable and engineers are in demand. She manages her own projects, like adapting this vehicle for use on Mercury. It even operates at minus 180 degrees. It's just great when you get the parts and put them together and iron out the final weaknesses. And then you turn it on and it runs and climbs and does what it's supposed to. It's a fantastic feeling. Now that she's almost 70, Dr. von Hörner devotes more time to her down-to-earth passions. Like classic cars. Take this Rolls-Royce convertible, for instance. I'm an enthusiastic person, and I think it's a shame that even though people are living longer these days, so few reach the age of 100. That's much too short. That's the one sad thing, that life is too short. Hanna von Hörner prefers to drive with the top down. That way, she can see the heavens.